Hello friends. Welcome to Angular JS tutorial. In this video, we will touch base with two-way binding Angular JS. So first of all, let's start with two-way binding. There are two types of bindings available: one-way binding and two-way binding. One-way binding is where whenever there is an update in model that particular update is transmitted to the view and view is updated according to the model in two way binding vice versa happens suppose a particular input is changed by user or a particular property is changed by end user who is using the view then that particular change will be transmitted to the model and model will be updated according to the updated view so two way binding will keep view and model both in sync this is the functionality which is available in angular js which differentiate it from other scripting languages so due to this functionality we don't have to make sure that we are writing a code to catch the updated value from the view and then passing that to into the model and updating the model angular js will take care of this automatically to achieve a two way binding we use directive ng model ng model is very useful directive and it will keep view and model in a sync we can use the ng model directive on three types of tag that is select input and text area we can apply ng model to this and whenever user updates any value into it we can catch that and update our model according to that so let's open our editor and see a short demo of it let's go to the plunker let's launch the editor okay here it is ready as we have been doing let me add the angular js reference to our channel remove this part as we will not be using this let's first go to the script file and create module and controller so we will be using a technique which will avoid the use of any global variable while creation of module and controller so let's do this angular module angular dot module let me Give it a name as my app. No dependencies. Keep the dot. Okay, let's let me do this in a new line. Dot controller. Let's give it a name my controller. Then the second fun second parameter is function which accepts the scope. Let's put the curly braces. Okay. So this is the way of creating a controller and a module where we avoid the existence of any global variable in a javascript so let's define a scope and have a property called name let's put that property as abc okay let's go to our view in html add ng app 
give it the name my app to the in body we will add a deep tag let's assign a controller to this deep my my controller so do one thing we will have a text box here where we can type the name input type equal to text okay and then we'll use the ng model with this input let me assign a variable as a name close this close the input tag okay and let me try to fetch that particular variable after this text box let us go to the view window or output window here it is we are seeing the text box here you can see this whenever I type something into this text box it is getting binded to this view this ng, ng model is binding that data to the name variable and that name variable is getting updated as soon as I type into it with every keystroke it is getting updated so this is the two-way binding where any change in a view is showed on to the model part. So this is the small demo which is enough to show that AngularJS supports the two-way binding. So this is it for this session. Thanks.